How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Here in today's video, we're going to talk about how to solve your Apple Watch is not upgrading to WatchOS 9 or later. Let's say you have an Apple Watch 5, 6, AC or later, and now you just try to upgrade your Apple Watch to WatchOS 9 and you're getting problem like failed to update or unable to update or stuck at loading the screen or maybe it keeps showing you this checking for update but you can't upgrade your WatchOS 9. Now if you have this problem here, don't worry, let me go ahead and show you how you can solve this problem. Now before I tell you how you can solve the problem, keep in mind your problem can happen either for internet, battery and storage and sometimes can happen for software buy. Now if you solve the problem, the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is your internet. Now if you found that your internet is not working on your iOS device or on your Apple Watch, then this problem can happen. So first thing that you want to do here, simply go ahead and open up your settings on your watch. Now you got to check out this option called Wi-Fi. Just go ahead and tap on there, make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected to your Apple Watch and your Wi-Fi network is stable. So all you can do, you can just grab your phone and now you can connect to the same Wi-Fi network and you can open up a browser and simply type fast.com. Well, tap on go here. Now, this is going to show you whether you have a stable internet connection or not. So if you see it's loading or it's not loading here, that means you have a problem with your internet. Well, after solving your internet problem and after having the stable internet connection, just go ahead and try to upgrade your Apple Watch to the latest WatchOS 9 and see what happens. Now, let's say you have a stable internet connection now, but when you just try to upgrade your watch, it still shows you the same problem. Then the next things I'm going to talk about is your battery percentage. Now, on your Apple Watch, if you have less than 50% of your charge, then you can have this problem. So you can simply open up your battery and now you can check out your battery percentage. So as you guys can see, we already have the 100% battery for this watch. So if you have less than 50%, go ahead and charge your device. After that, just try to upgrade your watch to the WatchOS 9 and see what happens. Let's say you have a stable internet connection, your battery is more than 50%, but it's still you have the same problem. Well, if you still have the same problem, well, that can mean that you have problem with your storage. Well, first, all you want to do here, you want to open up your settings on your watch and then you want to come over here. Then you want to find out your storage. So you can simply tap on your general and scroll down here and simply find out your storage from there. Just tap on storage. And now this is going to show you how much storage that you have on your device. So try to have more than five gigabyte of free storage before you go ahead and upgrade your watch to watch OS 9 or later. So here, as you guys can see, you already have enough, you know, free storage available here. So if you don't have enough storage, you can either delete some of this application from here, or you can just delete some of the things that you don't need it from your watch to get some free storage. Now once you make sure you have now available free storage, now just go ahead and just simply restart your device and turn it back on and see what happens. Alright guys, now after doing this work, a lot of people actually solve their problem from here. So for some reason, if you're still stuck on checking for update or if your update is keep getting paused, then we highly recommend you to just grab your iPhone to upgrade your Apple Watch. Now on our iPhone, all you want to do here, just simply go ahead and open up your watch application here. So let's go ahead and open up watch application there. And now scroll down here, tap on general, tap on software update. Now, while you're checking for update for your watch always, now make sure that you also have enough charge on your iPhone as well. After that, well, this is going to take a while to upgrade your device. So let's go ahead and wait about this time and come back later. All right, after 10 minutes later, so here as you guys can see, we got another problem. It says, unable to verify updates, the watchOS update couldn't be verified because you're not connected to the internet. So if you just take a look at here, I'm actually connected to my internet here. Okay, now if you have the same problem, just like me, don't worry, just go ahead and just grab your watch at the same time here. Now you have to just retry it again. Just scroll down here, just download and install, and you have to wait one more time. Alright guys, now after that, if you still have the same problem, the one last thing that I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys is just go ahead and charge your both devices. Now you can charge your iPhone and your Apple Watch at the same time. Now after that, just leave your Apple Watch and iPhone for about some time unless you see your device get auto upgraded. So as you guys can see right here, our watch is already updated to WatchOS 9 and says your Apple Watch is up to date with the latest box fix and security enhancement. Okay, so still this is going to take a little time to turn on. So let me wait a little more time and to see what happens.
All right, guys, so let me just go ahead and grab this watch and see what happens, okay? So here, it is already upgraded with watchOS 9, so let me quickly move on to the settings, and I'll tap on general, I'll tap on software update, and now it's just checking for update, so let's see what happens here. It says, it says Apple Watch to up to date, that means it is up to date with watchOS 9. Hope you find this video useful, if you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.